Did you know that there are only 10 human body parts that are three letters long? Welcome to episode 12 of UCA News. I'm your host, Mika. And I'm your host, Dino. Welcome back from Thanksgiving break. We're still recovering from the turkey and pumpkin pie, so this episode may be shorter than normal. This episode may be shorter, but we still have some super exciting segments we're both looking forward to. Before we get into our segments, though, we have announcements. Today marks the last day of our school-wide book fair. Today, November 27th, is the last day to make any last-minute purchases. Buy a graphic book, a non-fiction novel, or a new fiction book, and have it delivered before Christmas. This week, we'll also be entering the month of December, and we'd like to remind you all to stay on schedule with lessons and classes. This is really important because the end of the semester is right around the corner. Let's go to Corbin to find out more. The last day of the semester is January 18th. I know we're still in November, but the rest of the semester is going to fly by. The number one thing to remember as we get to the end of the semester is to make sure that you're going to finish all of your courses by the end of the semester. Your homeroom teacher or advisor is a great person to talk about this. The end of the semester is always a great time to work on improving grades. You should know how to improve your grade in each subject, but you can also check out your teacher's websites or send them a webmail for more information. Also, it is important to finish strong. We know you've been working super, super hard this entire semester. Don't let up now. Make sure you are taking notes, completing portfolios, and trying your best on your quick check quizzes and tests. Thank you for that. The end of the semester will be here before we know it. Let's get to the rest of the episode. This week, we have a learning tip an entrepreneur light spotlight, and a minute of science with some surprise guests. A special guest? Sounds exciting. Oh, it will be. Uh, I don't really like the sound of that. Now let's focus on our next segment. We'll be looking at entrepreneurship with our student entrepreneur spotlight. We're here with the sixth Great student here at UCA. This is Drennan. Hi, Drennan. How are you today? I'm doing good. How about you? I'm doing good. We understand that you have your own business. Can you tell us more about that? Yeah. I sell praying mantises. Uh, I sell uh, Chinese ones and orchid ones. And I sell 10 a month, make 25 each, and I make two hundred and fifty dollars a month how long have you been selling prey mantises for about a year now i also heard you have another business can you tell us about that i run and i run a esports team and uh we make videos and sell merch and yeah that's it <laughs> um, well, this is a totally random question, but we heard about something that lives in your garage. Is it true that you have a catfish? Yes, I have a catfish in my garage. It is what you call a freshwater shark, and I live feed it tilapia and all that stuff. Um, well, thanks for letting us interview you. And... <laughs> Um, you should really name your catfish something. Thank you. Okay, hear me out. I could start a business where I sell rocks, like pet rocks. But instead of pet rocks, they're the owner and you're the pet human and make a fortune out of them. It's it's a good idea, but like it could use some workshopping, <laughs> but keep on brainstorming. Drennan seems like a great student. He really does. I can't wait to meet more students with more episodes to come. I keep going 
Uh, okay, for our next segment, we'll be looking at Minute of Science with Mika, aka me. Let's go to me. Hello, and welcome back to Minute of Science. Today, I'm going to be talking about nuclear fission. During nuclear fission, put simply, atoms are split apart and massive amounts of energy are released. One fun fact about nuclear fission is that all power plants actually use it. And in most cases, they split uranium atoms. Now, during this process, the neutron collides at extremely high speeds with the uranium atoms, splitting in half. And during this process as well, two forms of energy are released, heat and radiation. Now, this process is repeated over and over and over again, creating a nuclear chain inside of the power plant. And the power plants actually utilize these reactions, maintaining a certain temperature and utilizing the energy. Thanks for listening. Thank you for joining us this episode. It means a lot to us. Take some time today to take a deep breath and hydrate. Take care of yourselves, and we hope to see you next week. And, of course, we're... UCA.